I can feel everything starting to close in. I couldn't bring myself to tell my wife, you know, I fucked up, we're gonna lose the house. The only thing that I can think of is, where is a lot of money? There's a lot of money at a bank. I thought, it. My only option left was to rob the bank. I gotta follow through or, you know, all these other things are gonna fall apart. I'm gonna lose everything that I've built my entire life up to this point. I'm in that mind frame of, I'm gonna get away with this. Thinking I'm better than anybody. The next morning I just wake up just like a regular day. I taught the classes that I had to in the morning. Once I'm done teaching my classes, I just go right to my car and drive over to the bank. As I'm getting to the bank, I drive around, you know, the block just to see who's there, what type of cars are there. At one point, there was a, a police officer there. Now I'm thinking to myself, Jesus, there's a cop here. I can't rob a bank when a cop's right across the road. Finally, I see the cop drive away. And there's nobody driving on Main Street. There's no cars going up and down. So I figured that that was the best time as any. start walking over to the bank. As I'm approaching the door, thinking about my family, the house, and all those payments, that was always at the forefront of my mind. The adrenaline is just kicking in. I'm out in the open with a gun. I can feel my heart start to race. It's like a feeling I never felt before in my life. I just open the doors and everything slows down. I said, listen, just calm down. All I want is the money, like it'll be over in a minute. At one point, I see one of the female teller. She just kind of nods her head a little bit and I had no idea what that meant, but I knew it couldn't be good. As I leave the bank, all the adrenaline's running through my veins, and my heart's still pounding. I just run right to my car. As I'm driving, I reach over into the bag, and I notice that there's red smoke billowing throughout the car. There's tear gas in the dye pack. I look in the rear view mirror and there's just red smoke. I can't breathe. I can't really see, my eyes are starting to water. So I took the dye pack and I just threw it out the window. I've got red dye all over my clothes. So I decided not to go to my house. Instead, I decided to go to my mom's house. I run into my mom's backyard and into my shed. I threw the gun in there and my clothes. I get back in my car and drive back to my house. I walk in the house. My aunt was watching my daughter at the time. Just nobody had any clue. I'm thinking to myself, there's no way I can get caught. I had a mask on. Nobody can see my face. I didn't leave any fingerprints. I didn't get caught at the bank. I'm good, I'm, I'm gonna get away with this. <laughs> 